Hey, how's everyone doing today? So today we're going to discuss, and I've done a video about this before, and it's about using Snipply, which in my opinion is one of the best content curation tools you can use because it allows you to add your own call to action to anyone, any person's website. And that obviously can include yours. And you can see right here, there are some feature integrations. It connects with Hootsuite, Buffer, Facebook, and Twitter, and there's more. They have a Chrome extension. Uh, it's a freemium tool, so you can upgrade your plan. But overall, I mean, this is so far what the dashboard looks like. Uh, if you want a more in-depth look on exactly how to use Snipply, uh, look at my past tutorial. I, sh I believe I show how to do it in about six minutes or so. I could be wrong. I, I believe it's around that time though. But I'll put the link in the description below. And this is just kind of an overview of how it looks. And I'm going to explain why you should use this. I'm going to show you how to actually use it from there and post it. So in social media marketing specifically, it's important to keep having good content out there. It's tough though sometimes, especially when it comes to content curate, uh, cre sorry, creating your own content. Now with content curation, what you're doing is basically sharing other people's content. Obviously they get credit, but that's the goal. Now the difference between using like a Bitly versus Snipply is that Snipply actually allows you to add your own call to action and track the link. And you can see here, there's a, it tells me how many snips I created. Uh, and this is overview in the last 30 days, how many clicks, one conversion, tells you the conversion rate, which is bare minimum. And they actually do have a pixel you can put on your website when you have the paid version where you can actually run ads later on. Now, I'm just gonna quickly show you, so this is gonna be a quick, quick tutorial on this aspect, but I'm gonna, there's a more in-depth one later on. All you would do is, let me quickly find a link. So here, I found a link, and I'm gonna put it here quickly. So, create snip. When you click create snip, it's gonna redirect you to this page here where you can create it. Now, I already have a few templates. Once again, if you wanna look at the previous video, you're more than welcome to. But here you have all my templates that I personally use. This is exactly, this is a preview of how it's gonna look. I want it to look like this on the bottom, I decided. And you can add your new call to action. So you can see I have my looking for email marketing help, looking to improve your website, uh, looking for digital marketing help, happy to help. And then my, when you click create snip, it'll give you a shortened URL. And you can see what my message will look like. And you can see the contact us page and the digital reach platform uh, com slash contact. And you can customize and do more of it. But overall, this is how it would look. Then all you have to do afterwards is click snip. Now from there you can share it, but I'm gonna be very specific and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this. Now you're gonna go, I'm gonna go over to Hootsuite to schedule the post or slash post it. Now since I'm at Hootsuite right here, this is my dashboard. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just pick all three of my uh, social media platforms. This is the free version of Hootsuite and I'm just gonna quickly show you how this would look. So when you click control V, this is exactly how it would look if it's gonna be posted. You can see the auto-populated image right here. You can see the other auto-populate image or the um, social clickable card right here. And same thing over here on Facebook. And this is exactly how it would look. And now I'm gonna quickly just copy and paste the link. Now this is exactly how it looks. So if somebody clicks on that link, all they would see is this page right here. So it looks like an exact article, but you can see up here where it says Snipply, then you have the whole URL afterwards. So this is the, the original website, but what Snipply does is basically they added their own, UR, uh, their own URL to the URL, <laughs> if that makes sense. And you can see though, if you keep scrolling down, it looks exactly like the normal website, everything looks great, but you have your call to action right here, digital reach platform. When you click that, it's actually gonna take you to my personal website. But when you click contact us, you can see the highlighted, you can see everything highlighted right here where it says contact us, the UTM parameter, and it's showing where it's coming from. So when you look at Google Analytics, it'll show you exactly where it's coming from. Now when you click contact us, it's gonna redirect you to my page. And you can see right here, this is my page. Once again, here's the URL parameter and it has the whole contact us form. Now why you do this? Why? Let's go back to the link creator. Why would you wanna do this? The reason you wanna do something like this is so you actually have that call to action, especially if it's related. So looking, so this wouldn't work, right? The looking for email marketing help, this just does not work with this whole article right here. But what would work is if I change it to social media marketing help or digital marketing help, you basically giving somebody an opportunity to reach out to you after posting related content. Remember, if you're using doing content curation, you wanna post related content and 
showing it, uh, you know, showing related content to those users, and and they will quote unquote think of you. Uh, as an industry expert, the more and more you post industry related content with your own uh, copy to it, the more and more people think you're an industry expert and most, more likely or not, they will end up contacting you depending on who it is. And that's exactly why you need to use Snipply. Snipply is an excellent, excellent content curation tool. You can use it for so many different things besides content curation. Uh, I personally love using it for that, especially if the client does not have a lot of content uh, created. This is an excellent backup plan and an excellent uh, helpful tool. And for some reason, if you get more of the clicks than the thousand clicks for the month, then I suggest upgrading and purchasing it. I believe it's not super expensive. We can look back at that another time. But yeah, that's basically all you have to do. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please leave us a comment and subscribe to our channel. That'd be very much appreciated. And we'll see you back next time. Take care.